hey you guys uh we're back with another episode um of uh free music lessons uh we're gonna be focusing on the sax but here um we're working with uh, the treble clef now this may be a new symbol for some of you guys um it's new uh for most beginners um this is probably the first thing that you see but um you could call this the treble clef or the g clef and the reason we call it the treble clef or the G clef is because the treble clef denotes or tells you what range that your instrument is going to be playing in. So pretty much if you ever listened to a radio or even had a radio and um, looked on the turn dials and you noticed that it said treble or you heard you know or seen the bass label well this is pretty much that except denoted on paper. So um, when you see it on paper when you see treble automatically think that this is the you know higher ranged instruments and if you see a bass clef uh which we don't really need to go over right now but uh for saxophone purposes um you don't necessarily see bass clef that much uh, unless you have a lower range uh saxophone but um but for alto soprano tenor and i believe also barry um they all um play in the treble clef so the range um we'll get to that later but uh but this is what the note is it just it basically tells you what range you're going to be playing in and the reason it gets the name uh g clef is because you notice here i've wrote and written excuse me written um the word the g line is because when you look at the lines in the measure you'll see that the note g actually falls right in the center of the this part of the of the clef so uh it looks like a g right well <laughs> for the for the purpose that's what's called the g clef because it pretty much tells you where the g lies and i guess i, I believe that's like the middle of of the range so it depicts where you know i guess the middle of the range lies and um that's pretty much it. The G clef or the treble clef. Most people call it the treble clef, but some people use G clef and treble clef synonymously. So they pretty much mean the same thing. So we're gonna add that to our vocabulary list, uh, treble clef. All right, now uh, next we're going to uh, be um, pretty much going over the measure. 